I have never seen such a self-disciplined wild man. He wakes up at 6 every day and walks for half an hour. He makes breakfast after exercise. He catches the small fish with a homemade fishing device. Then he skillfully climbs up a tree and pulls out the bird eggs. He fries the eggs with a spatula he found and then makes a cup of leaf tea. Then collect their own sweat to put a little in the omelette and grilled fish to add some unique flavor. Such a life is simply too good. But just three months ago, he owed a huge loan shark and was forced to jump into the river. However, not only did he not die, but he was swept away to a deserted island. He tried to call the police, but his phone was broken. Kim ran around the island and found it surrounded by water. Not knowing how to swim, he tried to swim to the other side. But once he got in the water, he almost didn't float. I don't usually do anything bad. Why does God always play tricks on me? At that moment, a ship came up the river. He waved his hands excitedly for help, but the people on the boat thought he was saying hello, so they waved back. No matter how desperately he shouted, no one wanted to save him. Kim could only watch the ship leave. Since he couldn't go back home, he stayed on the island and opened up the land. No one could find him anyway, so he didn't have to pay the huge loan. He started to drill wood for fire, but he gave up after half an hour of rubbing branches. Kim took out a lighter from his body and lit a cigarette. Then he lays flat on his back and takes a nap. When he was hungry, he ate raw mushrooms, and when he was thirsty, he drank from the river. It didn't matter if the river water was clean or not, as long as he could fill his stomach. But his body is malnourished from eating raw mushrooms every day. Kim had to find a way to get some meat, so he tried to catch fish. But instead of catching a fish, he gets a tree branch stuck in his foot. He tried to climb a tree to get the bird's eggs. Although he seems to be struggling to climb, he seems to be able to reach a height of 5 inches. He really fails at everything except eating and playing games. He had no choice but to continue eating raw mushrooms until the day he washed his hair by the river. As he washed his hair, several fish floated to the surface of the water. These fish were actually poisoned by his laundry detergent. So at night, he finally ate grilled fish during the night. A bird ate his fish. The next morning, he saw a bird that had been poisoned to death. Sometimes good luck comes so suddenly. He ate a sizzling roasted bird. Even though the bird didn't taste like salt, he got the taste of original recipe fried chicken. Every day he has nothing to do but to recycle the garbage on the island and see if the garbage can be used. One day he was lucky enough to find a small abandoned duck boat. He just had to cover the boat with straw so he wouldn't have to sleep out in the open. And you can't say that his life is getting happier and happier. One day he found a bag of fried noodles in the woods. Inside the bag, there was a packet of seasoning. He looked at the noodles on the bag and his eyes were wide open. This man wanted to eat a bowl of fried noodles, even though he was stranded on a deserted island. This is simply a whimsical. Every day he smells the bag of noodles and immediately starts to revel in it. Even in his dreams, he was bored to death with the image of fried noodles. So he decided to make the noodles himself on a deserted island. He first picked a variety of plants and a large bunch of grass into the helmet to mash. Poured in the right amount of water and started to stir. But the black stuff has no stickiness at all. He worked all day and had to continue to eat grilled fish in pain. Until they saw the boat full of bird droppings at noon that day. He had an inspiration. If the birds ate the crops, then there must be undigested seeds in their bird poop. Then he could use the droppings to grow crops. So he immediately took action. He never imagined that one day, he would be smiling so much while collecting bird droppings. He then found a patch of fertile soil on the island and cultivated his land there. He made a scarecrow out of a suit to prevent the birds from eating the crops. After three months, he became a modern-day Robinson Crusoe. He has mastered all the skills of fishing in the river and climbing trees to get birds' eggs. One day he was scavenging on the island as usual when he accidentally found a drifting bottle. He took out the paper inside the bottle and saw that there was a hello written on it. He suddenly remembered that he had also written a hello on the sand on the island before. If there is not a pervert spying on him, right. But it could also be a greeting from a kind person to him. So it our day, how are you on the beach? However, the next day, the other person replied to him with a drift bow, fine, thank you and you. And that's how they both began to review the English they had learned it in elementary school. One day, he found a small corn stalk growing. Kim was so happy to see it. But then a delivery man suddenly came to the island and brought him three fried noodles. It seems that these are all from the mysterious Pintal. Although he really wanted to eat it, but he thought for a while and refused. He also asked the delivery man to help him convey a message that fried noodles is his hope. If his hope can be easily obtained then it is cheap. After some time the crops he planted on the island were ripe. It was a bumper crop, 
he began to break the corn kernels in his helmet and mash them with a drift bottle. Then he poured in water and began to mix the dough. Then he rolled the dough in the bottle. Then he cuts the dough evenly and puts it in the pot and stirs it as it cooks. He takes out the noodle seasoning and sprinkles it on top of the noodles. To add a sense of ritual to the meal, he spares no detail. When he took the first bite of the noodles, he cried out. He was not so worthless and useless, but at this time there is someone who is secretly watching his every move. This girl had not left her room for three years and locked herself in a dark room, but her daily life is very regular. She wakes up at 8 a.m. to eat a 170 calorie can of corn. Then she steps 3,000 times with her body facing the wall. At 9, she turns on her computer and starts surfing the internet. At 12, she waits for her mother to leave and then rushes out to go to the bathroom. She eats a 420 for calorie pastry for lunch and then does 6,000 steps. After exercising, she turns on the fan to feel the fresh air. Then she continues to surf the internet until 9 p.m. She also takes 1,000 steps before she goes to bed. She doesn't do this for health reasons, but to give herself the illusion of being dizzy. Sometimes her mother knocks on the door and asks her what she wants to eat. She texts her mom on her cell phone. She uses her camera to observe the world during her twice yearly air defense drills. It was her only chance to get in touch with the outside world. But this time with the camera she saw, it. there was a man ready to hang from a rope in the woods next to the beach. She was so scared that she collapsed in a pile of garbage. At night, she tossed and turned and couldn't sleep. So late at night, she got up from bed to check the island with her camera. Luckily, the man was not dead. After that day, the girl started to observe the man every day. She discovered that Kim loved to climb trees and take risks. He smiled happily with his hands covered in dirt every day. He had a passion for fried noodles. After observing him for a few months, she suddenly wanted to get in touch with him. So she hurriedly made a drifting bottle. She sneaks out of the house late at night while her parents are asleep and drops the bottle on the island. Soon she received Kim's reply. The two of them just started to talk across the air. That day, the girl ordered a takeout noodle dish for Kim, but he refused it. The delivery guy sent a message to her on Kim's behalf that the noodles were Kim's hope. So Kim didn't want to get the noodles so easily. The girl's eyes twinkled as if she thought of something. The next day, she asked her mother for some corn seeds. She wanted to plant hope with that man. And that day Kim suddenly wrote on the beach, Who are you? But this time the girl backed out because the scar on her forehead made her feel inferior. So she didn't write back. The same night a storm came and destroyed the man's crops on the island. Then the river swept away his duck boat. Kim's hopes for a new life were dashed. I the next day, the girl saw him sitting on the ground in despair. That's when a group of sanitation workers appeared and forcibly took him off the island. The girl looked at his desperate face. She had to go and save him. The girl ran out of the house despite all the obstacles. She looks around the town for Kim. She hears a passerby say there's a homeless man at the bus stop and immediately runs all the way there. But she was still a step too late. She couldn't catch the bus and had to stop crying. Then she turned around and left in despair. Suddenly the air raid siren went off. All the cars stopped. A smile of hope appeared on her face. She walked up to the bus and came to the man. She then introduced herself in English and asked the belated question, who are you? The man couldn't help but laugh when he heard this. In fact, there is an island in everyone's heart. But if we have love, then that island will also have warmth.